you know, you want to have be able to have the opportunities of everyone else. Right. You don't want to have to go in looking for a job with right. six bags strapped to you, unpresentable. Right. You know okay. what I mean? Makes sense. It, more than anything, we, everyone just wants a fair chance. Um, a fair chance to be able to succeed. Okay. You know, how many homeless guys do you know right now in Winchester? Uh, at least 40. It is estimated that there are anywhere from 5,600 to 6,500 homeless people across Virginia in 2022, depending on which article you click on. 58 to 60 of those same people were homeless in Winchester, Virginia that same year. In 2024, the number of people experiencing homelessness in the upper Shenandoah Valley increased by 16% from 2023. In 2024, the number of people experiencing homelessness in the upper Shenandoah Valley increased by 16% from 2023. So the numbers show that homelessness is increasing, mainly due to the price of housing. But let's address the things that we can change since we can't change the housing market. So what is the solution? What can a community do to help? Are there programs in place to help people like that get off the street? Today we talk to Jeremy Owens. He's a local homeless man that is trying to rebuild from a position that has to be hard to get out of. He offers solutions to the problems that he sees every day. Solutions that he think will help get people back on their feet. So let's get started. The thing is, get your bags off your shoulders, yeah. get you cleaned up and presentable yeah. so you can go look for a job, yeah. right? All right, Jeremy, thank you, buddy. Of course, man. So we've already spoke a little bit. You made a post on Facebook. You're asking to kind of help things around here, right? Yeah, just uh, offer solutions to yeah. the homeless problems yeah. that you see going on because you are homeless, right? Absolutely. So tell us a little bit about what things you're talking about. I got you. So uh, there's been a big misconception within, you know, the homeless organizations, you know, what source resources they offer, what they don't. Um, one of the biggest things is a big misconception. There's, there's not a lot of shower options for homeless here in Winchester. The only current shower uh, you know, option I know of is Mount Carmel Church on Wednesday mornings. That is the only thing for homeless people to shower, um, unless you're in the Watts program or something like that. But unfortunately, there's some you know, local churches that don't have showers. Okay. Um, another big thing is there's, there's no storage for, for people. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's wonderful, you know, all these people donating, you know, clothes and sleeping bags and socks and underwear, and that's fantastic. But if these guys have no way to take care of it, maintain it. Right. Unfortunately, that's when you see underwear in the road. You see, you know, crew necks hanging in trees. These guys have no way to take care of anything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's a big issue. Um, you know, if the community could possibly come together, maybe allocate some funds, um, I'm sure one of the local organizations or churches might be willing to help with, you know, putting up lockers. Lockers. For, so for how the would guys. the lockers work? Would you have keys to the lockers, um, like assign the lockers that so, way? Have you seen something like that work before? So, yeah. So basically what my, my idea would be, you know, get the lockers. The lockers would be signed out. They would have a combination lock. The uh, people, you know, running the lockers would have obviously have the combination uh -huh, to, to get uh -huh. in. Um, lockers would be subject to search at any time just uh -huh. for the public safety. Uh -huh. You know, we don't want guys putting, you know, things in there right. that shouldn't be in there. Absolutely. But at the same time, we need to make sure that there is an option available for guys. Um, you know, a lot of us out here, we just want uh, a chance to better ourselves. Right. Um, unfortunately, because of the current situation, a lot of guys fall into a vicious cycle. Um, you know, you become stagnant, and that's one of the worst things that can happen. Mm -hmm. um, the biggest thing is just having the opportunities and the resources to get on your feet, look presentable, look for jobs, look for other resources. And it's hard. You know, it's especially hard when you're trying to carry everything you own. Right. So, okay, so let me play devil's advocate for a second because mm -hmm. I've done videos with other, you know, homeless individuals and they are using money for other things absolutely you know absolutely. Um, it's, it's like, a like alcohol or yeah. drugs and things like that so what you want to do is kind of not as much be able to work on that as be able to get yourself up that's really trying to get up and get a job right? absolutely um unfortunately be clean. yeah be clean be presentable you know you want to have be able to have the opportunities everyone else right you don't want to have to go in looking for a job with right. six bags strapped to you unpresentable right. you know okay. what i mean Makes sense. We just more you're than you're going any, in, and you're they're automatically profiling you. Yeah, absolutely, as, as, absolutely. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, more than anything, we, everyone just wants a fair chance, um, a fair chance to be able to succeed. Okay, 
I think that makes sense, man. I think a lot of people would be interested in helping in, in some of those ways. Yeah. So like you talked about bus passes being Absolutely. a thing. Yeah. How, can, how can people help with bus so passes? So bus passes can be purchased at 301 East Cork Street, okay. um, the main Win, Win Ready and Wintran uh, office. Um, it's located right there on 301 East Cork. Um, they can only be purchased with cash, unfortunately. Okay. Um, they are $15, but they are good for 10 rides. So that's a dollar fifty a ride. And if somebody brought a hundred of them and just handed them out, they're good until they get marked on or whatever. Because you showed me one earlier. Absolutely. So basically, the way it works is you get a card with ten punches on it. Mm -hmm. um, when you go onto the bus, the bus driver will either scratch out your ride mm -hmm. or punch it with a card, mm -hmm. and your card's good for ten rides. So ten rides, it'll get you back and forth to do quite a few things you need. Right. Whether that be if you have access to Planet Fitness and you're able to shower. Mm -hmm. Me personally, I don't have access to Planet Fitness. Okay, do um, you know guys that do that that are in the community? I do know guys that do that. Okay. And I know guys that don't have money for bus passes that walk all the way down there and walk all the way back just to be able to shower. Okay. Um, but, you know, there's some, some serious needs that need to be addressed. And, and I feel then like they're just paying the 10 bucks a month because I've seen a lot of people mm -hmm. in the comments making that as a suggestion. Absolutely. So they are yeah. using that. And that is, that is you know, a wonderful alternative. Mm -hmm. um, but for some guys, that's just not feasible. They don't have a debit card. They and don't there's have only an ID. one Planet Fitness, right? Yes, there's only one Planet right. Fitness in Winchester. It's right there off uh, Pleasant Valley next to Dick's Sporting Goods, if mm -hmm. I'm not mistaken. Is there a community around there? Is there a camp around there not, that you know of? Not that I know of, no. Okay. No. So where do most everybody stay down here on the Old Town Mall? Or so, yeah, these? I'd say right now a majority of everybody's down here on the Old Town Mall. You'll still mm -hmm. see you guys on the outskirts. Um, you'll see guys on the big camp behind you know, Solon Burgers. You'll see mm -hmm. you know guys mm -hmm. around in Kernstown. Um, there's some big camps in the area, mm -hmm. um, but there's nothing right right there. Um, and to be honest, a lot of guys, um, a lot of people don't like going in the camps. A lot of times it can cause trouble, sure, sure. you know, cause issues with sobriety. Territorial. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cause issues with sobriety. Yeah. That makes and sense. And that's, that's me, me personally. Um, I'm in recovery myself. Okay. So I'm really trying to limit how much, you know. From what? My, uh, I was addicted to methamphetamine. Okay. And uh, I was I was an upper guy. And mm -hmm. unfortunately, it, it really wreaked havoc on my life for quite some time. Yeah, man. I, I feel that. So, I've been there. I'm, I'm, Beth, at, I'm, I'm, I'm at a point in my life where I really want to try to just get my life together, um, find the resources available to help me do that. Right. Because um, it's, it's really hard. It's really hard starting out with nothing. Um, it's, it's really hard trying to get your life w the way it needs to be. And when you find, suddenly find yourself in a situation like this. What's it cost you day to day to live? <sighs> Realistically, I could probably make it a whole day on five bucks, man. Okay. Where are you getting your food from? Uh, so Watts and a, a lot of the local organizations, they're great with food. Okay. Um, a lot of the organizations, that's one of the biggest misconceptions. All these organizations, they'll help with food. They'll mm. help with clothing. Mm. Everyone's fed well. That's that. Everyone's fed well. Mm -hmm. No one has to worry about that. You know, All of the local organizations do food. You know, Most of them also do clothes. Mm -hmm. But what good is giving clothes if you have nowhere to put it? Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's why we're addressing lockers. Yeah. And then how about like Salvation Army and places like that that people are going to say, well, go here, go there? Um, you'll, you'll get a lot of regurgitated information that, that, you know, gets brought up, but a lot of it's unfortunately incorrect. Okay. Um, from my understanding, Salvation Army hasn't really been doing a lot the last couple of years, and they actually shut down their shelter. Um, to my knowledge, there's only two um, open shelters in Winchester. Mm -hmm. One is a permanent shelter um, at uh, North Cameron Street, the okay. Winchester Rescue Mission. And then the other shelter is a temporary shelter, uh, the Winchester Area Thermal Shelter, which is uh, what, where I'm at now. Mm -hmm. And then you said something about, you, like, the guys have a place to meet up. You, you all get kicked out of there first oh, thing yeah, in the morning. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So, uh, like I said, the only free shower service in Winchester is uh, Mount Carmel Church on Wednesday mornings. Mm -hmm. um, they have a, and it's only one day a week? One day a week, unfortunately, mm -hmm. yes. Wednesday morning. Yes, sir, one day a week. Well, Wednesday mornings, but CCAP, um, that is the meeting place. Mm -hmm. They send a van, uh, all the, Mount, the guys from Mount Carmel, they send a van out to CCAP. Usually gets there about 8.45, 9 o'clock. Okay. They take everybody down to Mount Carmel. Everybody gets a shower. There's a little bit of food there. Mm -hmm. uh, they give you a clean set of clothes to change into, mm -hmm. and then you're good. Um, but the issue is, is this morning, for instance, we were all waiting. There was nowhere for us to go because we were, had to leave Watts by 7 a.m., which is the regulations. You have to leave every, every morning by 7 a.m. Okay. The library is not open. There's no public resources for us to go sit at. Mm -hmm. So we congregated there right in front of CCAP to uh, try to get showers. We, yes, we were a little a little early, about an hour and a half early, but there was really nowhere else for us to go. Right, where else are you going to go? Um, we had the police come and tell us we had to leave. 
while you're waiting to while, go get a while, shower. While the all, one day while, a week that while, you can go. Yes, while we were all waiting to get a shower. And that's and the, what that's, are you supposed to do there? Just disperse into a couple little groups on each corner. That's how many of you was it? Uh, it was probably about 25 of us. Yep. And that's unfortunately that is what happened. Uh, everybody went separate ways, and you know, I, I thankfully I, I talked to the police and I said, you know, sidewalk is public, and we can stand on the sidewalk till the the bus gets here. And they said that that's not an issue. But yeah, no, it's all because you know there's some elderly gentlemen that were sitting down and stuff like that, but. Yeah, it's just the, the community need, needs to get more involved. Um, you know, community government needs to get more involved. Right. So, what, what do you tell me your thoughts on that? What can government do? What can the city do to help? We and need I to feel have like the lockers and things are definitely a, a solution to being able to have a place to yeah. put something. Like, we, and we're not talking about them little skate lockers you put your shoes in, right? Yeah, yeah. We're we, talking we about a two buff. Yeah. Yeah, we need, at least need a half size locker to be able to right. Put, you need a decent size locker. But yeah, no, those are the major issues. Um, the uh, Another thing is there's nowhere to really congregate without being harassed. Mm -hmm. um, you feel out of place at the walk-in mall with all of your stuff. You try to go sit somewhere else, mm -hmm. and then you get told to move along. So it's mm -hmm. just I, I really want the community to become more aware, um, you know, of the situations that everyone's dealing with. And that it is pretty, you know, how many homeless guys do you know right now in Winchester? Uh, at least 40. At least 40. So you gotta, you got to think the capacity at Watts is 36 and the capacity up at the mission is around the same okay. so we at least have that and, and that's just the, the, that's just the guys that are the people that are accounted for those are both full up the, too all, well the, the winchester rescue mission is always full uh -huh. um, their residents stay on average anywhere between six months and a couple of years unfortunately mm -hmm. okay so yes yeah, so oh you got a facebook how can people reach you man if people want to get a ticket to you or something like that i, I mean you. obviously guys so, people are going to reach out to me they probably yeah, reach out to me and do yeah, certain absolutely. things and I'll, I'll i'll get back in touch with you but what's yeah. your information for so people? if anyone would like to contact me my name is jeremy owens i'm jeremy owens on facebook um i also have a phone number i'm leery about giving it out but i will go ahead and give it out hold on that was very annoying the first it's, time it's totally i don't cool. want it to be <laughs> i don't want it to be in the second I one so if anyone like to reach out to me, I'm Jeremy Owens on Facebook. I was the original poster on Winchester, What's Happening Winchester. Um, if anyone would like to contact me personally, my phone number is 540-409-9617. Um, again, bus passes can be purchased at 301 East Cameron Street at the main Winchester office. Or you could also donate them to Jamie, or you could donate them, uh, get in touch with Watts. Um, so if they buy them there at the passes, they buy them there and then take them somewhere, or they buy them and you said they could leave them at Watts, right? So yeah, if you if you buy the passes and you get in touch with uh, Watts, I am guarantee a volunteer will be willing to meet okay, up with bet. you. Bet. Yeah. And, and Watts is like, is that what it's just called, Watts? That's what it's called, um, but there is a different host church almost every week. Okay. Um, they switch churches usually once a week. Some churches uh, will stay for two weeks for but yeah, if anyone wants to reach out to Watts directly and donate to, to them, they can really get help to the people that need it. Mm -hmm. But again, if anyone would like to reach out to me, my name's Jeremy Owens and my number's 540-409-9617. And if we can offer another way to get y'all cleaned up and keep y'all so the thing is, get your bags off your shoulders, yeah. get you cleaned up and presentable yeah. so you can go look for a job, yeah. right? Well, and that's another thing, Jim Barnett Park, they have the uh, War Memorial Rec Center up there. Mm -hmm but uh, they charge $3 for showers. Mm -hmm. um, some of us can afford that, mm -hmm. some of us can't. Can we buy passes there and give you passes for that? I would love that to possibly happen. I don't know if that's something that we can make happen, but I guess if the community reaches out enough and there's mm -hmm. enough support for it, I'm sure that's something if that they If we could go there and drop 30 bucks on them and yep. be like, yo, give me 10 passes yeah. right there's, here, and then they could come hand you as, them 10 as, passes. As long as the, the money is being paid for for the showers, I don't see why it should be I think be one of the biggest things about people is people don't want to give money up if they think it's going to buy alcohol or oh, drugs. Absolutely. So by, by taking that possibility out, out of there the equation? and absolutely. saying, here's what you get as a bus pass or here's what you get as that, I Absolutely. That would... and, and that's my thing, like, and I, me, you know, coming from active addiction mm -hmm. at one you point and being in recovery. You already know that to be judged that way is how I, it is, bro. Absolutely, yeah. man. And if you can take that out of the equation and just get the help that you need, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's a blessing. All right. And that's one reason I wanted to come and do this because your post hit me in a way that was different. It wasn't, you know, just bring us this or bring me that or yeah. can you give me money. It was no, give I me bus passes, give me ways to help myself, help myself yeah, get out of the hole that I'm in. That's why I'm here. Because there's certain situations where, you know, there's enabling going on mm -hmm. and people become stagnant and they get caught in a very vicious cycle. A lot of these guys don't want that. 
they want to progress their life, they want to become productive members of society, mm -hmm. but they're just not given the fair opportunity to do so. Because mm -hmm. um, they're instantly judged based yeah, on absolutely. And I, I'm, I'm telling you now, over the last couple years, the homeless population is steadily growing. Mm -hmm. And if the community does not wake up and address some of these issues, one day you're going to wake up in the community you grew up in, the community that you know your, your kids were born in, you're going to wake up and you're not even going to recognize it anymore. Yeah. And unfortunately, by then, it's going to be too late. Facts. So let me ask you this too, what do you do? If somebody out there could offer you a job right now, what, what kind of job could they offer you? What can you do? I, well, I'm a people person, obviously. I love speaking. I love talking to people. I love customer service. Um, I'm no familiar, uh, yeah, I'm no stranger to hard work. Um, most of my life I've done manual labor. Um, growing up, you know, I did tree work. I did uh, carpentry. Uh, I did a lot of site work for Ryan Holmes and Envy Builders. Um, okay. Did a lot of the stuff like that, but more than anything, I just, I just want to talk to people. Okay. So if I could get in a customer service role where I spend my day, you know, talking to people and possibly fixing problems, um, that's what I would enjoy. Mm -hmm. Maybe on a city council. I wouldn't mind that. Quite Some place like yeah. that where you could be effective to handling things like yeah. this. Or even, you know, a case manager or a director at an organization. Mm -hmm. I'd be open to anything like so that. So y'all share this with everybody. Share this with everybody that you can in Winchester, the whole surrounding areas. We want to get Jeremy on the face of the Winchester star if we can. We want to get the sheriffs to see him. We want to get the city council to see him. We want to get the churches to see him. So share this, comment, do all that stuff, man. Y'all know how it helps. Y'all are watching social media. You gotta know how it works by now, right? Yeah, absolutely, it does. And go follow Jeremy so you can stay updated. Thank you guys very much. Thank you, brother. I Thank you, man. It, I hope it was it good meeting up with yeah, you. Yeah, for sure, for sure.